I look so fucking dead. Oh my god. Hello everyone. Welcome back to everyone's favorite thing, movie reviews. Oh, hold your applause, please. Just calm the fuck down. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. I've been a little busy. Uh, I just finished work. I'm no longer working, uh, so I'm gonna have to be be a poor little boy and try and find another job somewhere else. Uh, in that time, though, I have completely uh, sorted my living space out. Uh, I have a much better room situation, so I can make better videos because I actually have more space to do so. If you guys have checked out yesterday, my little FNAF VR game, I'm going to do more of that. I'm actually going to look into it and try and figure out how the hell I even play it because I was just, oh my, I can't go over it at all. But anyway, today we're doing the Halloween review. I finally got off my ass and watched the movie. Uh, <laughs> to, going into it, I had no expectations. I obviously, I am aware of Michael Myers as a character. Everyone fucking is. Anyone who's ever seen anything like, remotely knows what Michael Myers is. Uh, especially the guy who voiced Shrek, you know. Mm. Beautiful boy. But anyway, we're not talking about Shrek today. We're talking about stabby murdering man with the white face. Uh, watching the film, again, I've never seen the films. I've never seen any of the films. The closest I have seen has been watching the Dead Meat channel where he reviews the kills of the movie. So, aside from that, I had no insight going into these films. For the first film, I originally I actually almost watched the Rob Zombie one uh, by mistake. I clicked on the wrong one, but uh, I corrected myself and I found the original film from 1978. So I'm pretty sure it was. Yep, 78, that's right. I have a little notebook. Here is my little my little notebooks. I've put like uh, very you know very important notes like uh, white man equal bad. <laughs> That's literally the kind of shit I've put down. But uh, but no. So I watched the film last night uh, when I was just in bed, just sat there comfy, get my toes all wrapped up, and uh, I watched this amazing film that really defined uh, you know the uh, the horror industry uh, as a whole. Uh, and after watching the film. I don't I was kind of disappointed. I don't know if that's like a normal thing. It's the, the film is obviously quite outdated. The film is very outdated obviously. But like th th there are some points that it does really well. Like early on in the film, I thought the whole scenes with Michael Myers actually stalking Laurie Road, Laurie Strode was actually really good. I thought the build up and obviously all the scenes of him sort of stirring her down like a deer in the headlights. I thought it was really interesting. It was actually kind of spooky because obviously I'm assuming at that point as well that sort of framing, especially the camera work, hadn't been done before. The camera work was actually done very well. I thought the camera work was spectacular. It was very good. Uh, it's just Michael Myers and some of the characters, like, I don't know if it's because it was just a time, but like, the acting was just a little, a little, a little, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly there. I don't blame them though, because obviously acting in the earlier days, you had, you know, the fucking, like, there was really, not really, like, a bar. There wasn't really, like, a, a set expectation. All the characters kind of talk like they were just reading the script in their mind. Literally, the characters would be like, So you go into the prom? <laughs> Don't remind me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, like, cardboard, like, fake kind of language. It's like aliens coming from Mars trying to replicate how humans actually talk. It's just... I mean, Laurie did a really good job. I thought, um, I forget, I'm so sorry, I forgot her name. But the, the person who plays Laurie, she does an amazing job. I thought she did a really good job. Uh, Personality-wise, though, uh, I, I didn't really get to see it shine. Laurie is okay as a character. She's kind of like the shy girl, you know, just close, keeps to herself, doesn't go out partying, and she keeps her special place locked away from any naughty pesky men. Unlike her friends, who <laughs> fucking flash that shit out on the street corner. Just kidding, no. But there's a lot of sex in the film, a lot of horny teens, as the uh, horror films of them of that decade used to include a lot of. But uh, not not my man Laurie. She ride or die, not my man Laurie. Nah, she's a, she's a pure Christian. She, she, ain't, she ain't about that life, you know what I'm saying? But no. <laughs> uh, Laurie Strode, she did a really good job as a character. The person playing Michael, I think, did an okay job as well. It's just, it's the way he was kind of portrayed. Uh, without even seeing the films, I kind of got this idea in my mind that there's Michael Myers because he's built up across the film as like the pure evil. Like he is no mere man. He is evil incarnation. There's no good in him. He is just pure evil. He is, you know, he's evil. He's an evil guy. 
and like yeah, that's kind of put in that's why that's the kind of viewpoint i had on him was like he was this big spooky demon kind of guy but he's like a man he's you know he's super strong but in the film he's kind of goofy i'm not gonna lie he's kind of goofy i don't know he's, he's a fucking goofball there's a scene where like he's killing like one of the first friends and shit and he tries choking her out with one hand he fucking struggles it, the girl freaks the fuck out, obviously, uh, but like he, he looks like he kind of struggles to hold her in place. It didn't look that great. I mean, he, he kills her anyway, so I was like, I'll leave it, you know, whatever. Then he kills the next guy, and I thought that was, was really cool. He like picked up the dude by the throat with one hand and fucking impaled him with the knife, and I thought like, that's, that's cool, and he's like looking at his work, and he's like, Till his head and shit. I thought it was really cool. I thought, honestly, I, I just thought that was a really cool scene. But then, like, he fucking goes upstairs to, like, the guy's girlfriend. And he has, like, a fucking ghost sheet over his fucking head. And he's, like, standing there pretending to be the guy not saying anything. And, like, I, I literally wrote down in my book, I literally put, <laughs> has asthma. Because <laughs> there's a lot of scenes where he's just, like, he's just fucking, like, <gasps> oh. Oh, it's just like a Discord moderator. He's just, staying, just fucking breathing down the mic. It, it's great. I, I love it. I thought it was really interesting. He doesn't, because the whole point is that, like, he hasn't spoken in 15 years. He's not. He's this big, tough guy. Don't fuck with me. Don't drop the soap when Michael's around. You know, you know what I'm saying? But no. I, I thought it was good. It was just, it was kind of goofy. Obviously, when he was fighting Laurie and stuff. He got fucking taken out by a fucking needle. A, bit, a fucking sewing needle. Just in the neck. Just fucking... Just drops dead, just fucking goes out, taps out straight away, and fucking comes back up later. Then he gets fucking taken out by a fucking coat hanger. A coat hanger. He gets done in by a coat hanger. He drops the fucking thing on going like, oh, fuck, coat hanger. And then she fucking stabs him with it, and he, just, he fucking just goes to bed. It, it's so, <laughs> it's so goofy. I did not think that, like, he would go down so easily. He struggled to break into the fucking closet. I mean, yeah, he is quite intimidating. He's this tall guy, he's quite intimidating, he breaks down shit. It is kind of spooky, but in action, though, he's very... He's just, like, a big goofball. I don't know. I, I was not intimidated, especially when he was fighting Laurie. I was not intimidated in the Slayers. I was just like, man, what the hell? Someone come get the fucking son, bro. What the <laughs> It was... I, I, I still think the movie was good. Um, it's, I don't think, it's never really, is it ever really explained in any of the later films? Like, does he have powers or not? Because, like, he gets shot at the end of the film, like, six times and fucking falls off, like, a two-story balcony. And then he just fucking, just disappears, just fucking vanishes. He went to go collect the milk from the, from the shop. But no, he just, he just disappears. And I'm assuming, obviously, in the next film, he's perfectly fine. So, like, does he have powers? Does he have magic or anything? Can he teleport? Is he is he actually like an immortal creature? Is he not even mortal? I do like the opening scene, the scene where you see from his perspective as a little boy, where like he stabs the fuck out of his sister, and it's just one take too. Like there's no cuts or anything. I thought that shit was superb. I thought that, that shit was good. But yeah, no, that, that's literally my whole review of the film. I thought it was good. Uh, but it's just, Michael as a character, I think he's very goofy in the first film. I don't know if they make him more terrifying in the second movie, uh, but I, I guess I'll have to find out. I'll have to find out. I'll have to, I'll have to watch it and find out, you know. Another review, review number two. Ooh. But no, I thought it was good. I'd probably give the film, at, at the time, if I watched it, like, during that time period, I would have thought that shit would have been bussing. Because I don't think any other film did it at that time period. Like, no other film did what they did, I think. So it was really good. I mean, everyone fucking copied from him, which is great. But, uh, but no, I, I give, I give the movie a very good, solid, you know, good, good job, you know, you, you, you make me good. It wasn't very spooky, though. It was, it was barely scary. I was barely shivering in my seats. I didn't piss the sheets or anything, and I, I slept like a baby, you know, <laughs> I wasn't intimidated. But the, I thought the film was still good, though. I say, like, Michael Myers, he lives on in our hearts. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. It was, it was so good that he started voicing an ogre on, <laughs> for DreamWorks. Oh, but, uh, let me see what other notes I've got in my fucking thing. I wrote notes throughout the entire thing. Uh, but uh, very useful notes for reviews and stuff. Um, uh, yeah, like a... <laughs> child kills sister equals based. <laughs> just random shit. Bruh. I just wrote like little things. I saw like the, the fucking Myers house and like can teleport question mark. He kills a dog in the film. He kills a dog and eats a dog and then the fucking doctor guy is like he was hungry you know it's like the fuck this fucking guy just eats water man don't fucking kill dogs man. don't fucking 
<laughs> oh yeah, I put goofy as fuck death in car. <laughs> Literally, it was. I don't know why. That's that's what I would use to describe the film. Goofy as fuck. I thought the film was goofy. It's still good. It's just goofy. It is great. Uh -huh, yeah. I thought it was good. <laughs> I thought it was good. Uh, watches couple fuck. Has asthma. <laughs> Strong lad. Uh, fucking. Oh yeah, he fucking he fucking hangs the bodies to like jump scare Laurie like towards the end, which I thought was pretty cool, you know, because like I I don't know if Jason ever did something like that. I don't think he. I think he did like in the later films, but like I did think it was kind of cool how he kind of like took the time to fucking hang the shit, you know. He has there was actually a lot of scenes where we actually saw from his perspective, like when he was stalking the little boy and when he was stalking Laurie. There was a lot of scenes we saw from his perspective, like when he's driving the car and stuff. We saw from his point of view and like stuff. So I thought it was really cool. It was. It's a good film where we really do see the villain in action. There's a lot of films where they don't show the bad guy till the very end, but not in my film. Not in Halloween. Nah, that man opens up the film POV style. So yeah. All right. Well, that, that's my review. Uh, I think next I'm gonna try and review Scream. I think maybe. I don't wanna make any promises though, just because. You know, there's a lot of films I want to watch, a lot of films I've recently seen that I thought, oh, that'd be great, but I don't want to watch them because I've already kind of promised that I'd do other things, like The Ring and stuff. I, I really do want to watch The Ring, though. The Ring is definitely one I want to watch. So, next review will be Scream or Ring. Uh, I have another VR video to upload, though. I'm going to make more today as well, so you're going to get plenty of content from me. Don't worry. You're going to... To the six of you that like watching my stuff, uh, no, I really appreciate anyone that watches my videos especially if you get to the end of them like these ones i know it's quite hard to sit through but like i really do appreciate it like i i generally do it it means it means a lot to me sorry I can't. i'm drinking banana milk oh this is banana milk mm. Mm. like half of you have just like been disgusted and the other half is like now bussing for some fucking banana milk <laughs> that's literally the state of people but now if you like banana milk, leave a like, guys, in the comments. If you don't like banana milk, leave a comment in the below, guys. No. Thank you. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.